Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Las Vegas Metro Police checking numerous leads, including video surveillance cameras in Monday morning's armed robbery of an armored truck at the Palace Station Hotel at Sahara and the I-15. No injuries reported in the incident, in which police initially estimated that upwards of a million dollars had been taken, but that number was significantly reduced Monday afternoon. The online breaking news sections of the ReviewJournal.com have updates as they come in with a complete wrap-up of what we know in print and online Tuesday. Former Clark County Commissioner Dario Herrera may also be former federal prisoner Dario Herrera. The Review Journal checking reports of Herrera's release from several months of halfway house custody after serving approximately two and a half years of a four-year plus sentence on conspiracy, wire fraud, and extortion convictions related to his involvement with then strip club owner Mike Gallardi while Herrera served as county commissioner. The RJ's got the scoop for you and printed online. Well, just as we've all gotten used to Predator and more recently Raptor unmanned aircraft on reconnaissance and in some cases bombing missions over Iraq and Afghanistan, well, the U.S. military has apparently added another remotely piloted spy plane to its arsenal. The Review Journal's Keith Rogers reports Tuesday in what's officially known as the RQ-170 Sentinel, a jet-powered aircraft that looks almost like a junior stealth bomber. Aviation Week magazine calls the RQ-170 the Beast of Kandahar. Military writer Rogers also reports Tuesday on a fierce day-long gun battle last week in northeastern Afghanistan involving the 700 Las Vegas-based members of the Nevada National Guard's 1st Squadron 221st Cavalry Unit, better, better known as the Wild Horse Group. Rogers was emailing back and forth last week with the unit's commander, Lieutenant Colonel Scott Cunningham. That name ought to sound familiar because Mr. Cunningham, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Cunningham, has sent previous dispatches to the RJ on what's going on in Afghanistan. This one's a gripping read as Cunningham describes how a patrol unit spotted nearly a dozen enemy trying to set those improvised explosive devices, the IEDs, a week ago Sunday, and how the unit ended up in a situation similar to that captured recently by Cunningham's helmet cam. How did it all turn out? Check your print and online RJ Tuesday. Sports, Saturday's run and rebel basketball loss to Kansas State cost UNLV its spot in the AP Top 25 poll. Will they take that out on Tuesday night's opponents, Southern Utah University's Thunderbirds? The Review Journal sports team's got complete coverage for you in print and online Tuesday. Vegas Land columnist Doug Elfman's Monday column about Donnie and Marie Osmond hand-delivering holiday food donations to some bubbly seniors over the weekend. Oh, you got to check the online photo slideshow at lprj.com slash osmonds. Well, what is Doug following up with on Tuesday? Well, don't ask me. How about we get Doug in here to tell us himself? What do you say, Doug? I've got a great interview with Matt Sorum. He used to be a drummer in uh, Guns N' Roses, and uh, he tells me a very detailed story about coming to Vegas once with Charlie Sheen and doing a bunch of drugs and <laughs> there's other stuff. So check that out in Tuesday's Review Journal. Thank you very much. As always, all of Doug's columns and blogs are online at lvrj.com slash elfman. Your weather? Wow, looks like a comfortable ride down Easy Street for the official last week of autumn in Southern Nevada. Daytime high is going to be right around 60 under a mostly sunny sky. Overnight lows plus or minus 40 under a mostly clear sky. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com. <laughs>